ladies and gentlemen this is another site it's another video we want to see our construction of a reinforced concrete retaining wall actually looks like it's a heavy job and i invite you to join us as we go step by step until we find the finalized product up there feel welcome and in case you have not subscribed to the channel kindly do so and help us grow this community together so uh the first thing you you have to do is actually take the levels so that you actually determine why you need a retaining wall and after determining why you need a retaining wall you need to determine the quantities of the levels you are going to balance out so that you can be economical in whatever you are doing then the next step will be excavation where you'll be building your ex retaining wall uh, we have several components for a retaining wall whatever you are seeing here is a footing and you can see it has two parts the footing itself we have the shorter length on the wider width and uh, if you actually have a look you'll see this one as one beam which goes all along and it locks this one goes deeper than the other part of the footing so that when this big section is carrying out the weight in case by any chance there is a tendon there's a tendency to move this one the beam will actually lock it out then we have the wall i'll be showing you in a moment because we have our steel fixers ongoing with the other parts as you can see this one is work on progress let me show you the other part here is our wall and there's something you'll observe that we have actually two separate lines these are reinforced bars separated so that you have a uniform distance between the two the distance for separation you actually determine on site and the size of the bus you'll have to determine according to the strength of your reinforced concrete retaining wall so importantly given the different uh, applications and the different uses of the various retaining walls it's quite important for you to actually have a structural engineer to actually quantify what you need and give you the correct design according to the application remember what we are focusing on today is a reinforced concrete retaining wall and you have the other type of a retaining wall which is masonry retaining wall all is determined by what you actually need to carry as the weight and the height difference so with reinforcement bars fitted in place you'll actually have a complete reinforced system for the retaining wall the next thing you are going to do is to do the concreting of the floor of the footings after this i'm going to show you the formwork as we progress So what you are seeing here is actually formwork which is ongoing on the upper sections where we have completed our work let me take you closer so that you can actually have a better view of what is going on i told you the other time that you have a space in between that is a space for you there's a formwork ongoing it should be reinforced well so that you have a neat job and uh, to avoid dislocation when you are vibrating so from here i want to take you to the casting process now in between the formwork
So something important for your casting process is to observe the ratios and the class as specified by the structural engineer so that you have a quality product as a result. And now let's go to the final product for our retaining wall. And finally we are here. As you can see, after all the trouble we have gone through, after all the excavation, blinding, reinforcement, form work, casting, we have a beautiful girl, a beautiful product here. This is our reinforced concrete wall. This one is actually curing. Then afterwards, we will start backfilling as we work on the other structure. Until next time, take care of yourself. And in case you have not subscribed up to this moment, remember to do so. Thank you so much for joining us.